And you're welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Today we are starting off the conversation with some very, very light-hearted conversations. Now, what we might seem as light-hearted is something that has become a problem to lots of celebrities. Many people keep everything but their nose out of the business of these celebrities. You see their pages, they post photos of them, and you decide that you want to troll them. Now, these celebrities are not taking it lightly with a lot of people as they have decided to clap back. That's the new word. Clap back is when you give a smart, witty response and a sarcastic response to the comments made by a troll. Today on the show, I am joined by one of my favorite lawyers, someone who I really, really respect and admire. His name is Dalintin Opekeze Okemute, and he's a principal partner, Onyx and Bricks in Port Harcourt. Today, he's joined us on the show, and we'll look at it from the entertainment angle as well as the legal angle to trolling online. It's a delight to have you, Dalintin Opekeze. Thank you very much for joining us. So first of all, I know you are not really like a public figure like that in the entertainment world. But have you ever been says who? Ah, sorry, I take it back. <laughs> but have you ever been trolled on social media? Have you ever, uh, have you ever got, gotten comments that made you think I need to block or I need to delete this person? Yes. So when when you see those those comments, what do you do? I go for my peace. I just block you off, and no one will lie. <laughs> At the end of the day, your peace is very important. Protect very your important, peace, protect your important. space. Block if you want to block, delete if you, you want, want to delete. delete and exactly, make move on. Happy. So, Unse Ikpe had put up a photograph of herself on her page, and somebody asked her, um, Is this your neck? And then she said, Yes, this is mine. Do you have any? Now, Unse would not be the first celebrity to come under attack by trolls or people who decide that celebrities' business is their personal business. We also had Tiwa Savage. Tiwa Savage posted a photo of herself on Instagram about two days ago and her declotage was showing. And uh, somebody decided that he wanted to make a mess out of it and made, made a comment, you know, a derogatory comment. And of course, she was very quick to clap back. These are not, you know, these are not the only cases that we've seen. What do you make of people, first of all, that don't keep their mouth out of celebrities' businesses? I think it's important that we all realize that before becoming celebrities, we are first few months with same emotions like we all have. And it's only natural to react to such comments. And no matter how you want to try to manage these situations, once in a while, the human factor in you just comes in. So really, it's really no big deal. I think it's necessary once in a while to put people in check. Very important. Very important. Well, you know, as a lawyer, I'm sure you have very annoying clients sometimes that you're thinking, why did I have this client? Do you always feel the need to put your clients in check? And when you do, do you put them in check? Ah, uh, depends. Um, when you mean putting a client in check, uh, it all depends on, it all, it all sort of has to do with the bills. You know, there are times where you have to manage a client. You know, take it one step at a time, but at times where you really lose it and, you know, tell them out. All right. Now let's also talk about you know defamation, libel, slander, and all the likes. It's not so. I don't know. You know, as a practicing lawyer, do you think we have a lot of suits in that regard in Nigeria? A lot, but uh, in in terms of the amount of defamations that go on in Nigeria, especially in our social media space, not so much. Okay. So now, when we when we talk about defamation. What exactly amounts to defamation? If you go on somebody's page and put, what kind of comments would you put out there that would amount to defamation? Any comments that it's likely to reduce the estimation of the person in the eyes of right-thinking members of the society. Any statement intended to ridicule the person and lower his estimation in the eyes of right members of the society amounts to defamation. So if, for instance, uh, I call you a prostitute on your page is defamation. Wow. I, I, I'm, I'm glad that we're having this conversation because many people don't know these things. People feel like it's my, it's my space. I can say whatever I want to say on your page or, you know, I can troll you as much as I want. But should, do you think that in the nearest future we'll see an increase in the number of defamation cases that would go to court? Very well. You know, with information. Now, when people get to know these rights 
and uh, get to see people in rewards in terms of damages from pursue, pursuing these rights. A lot of people are going to take it up and uh, make defamation claims against people who defame them and get damages for it. What, what, what about um, cyberbullying? You know, I, I'm, very, I'm very particular about this, you know. And for those who are just tuning in, we are speaking with Darlington Ofekeze. He's the principal partner of Onyx and Bricks. And we have been analyzing what exactly amounts to defamation of character because it is something that we see happening all the time in the social media space, you know, in the political space. In fact, politicians know how to do it very well to each other. These days, they no longer attack. I, I think I should also add about defamation. Let's say fear of defamation called innuendo. Now, it may not be a direct attack, like saying A is a prostitute or B is a thief. You know, a comment that sells that impression is also defamatory. What of the ones when I'm subbing somebody, you know what we call subliminals? You're not mentioning the person's name, but everybody can infer that this is the person you're talking about. Once the person is able to prove that from the circumstance of the conversation, it is A or B that that comment is refer referred to, you can make a claim for defamation. Okay, so in the nearest future, you might want to be careful the kind of comments that you put out and the kind of things that you say, even if it's your page, your page, your business, yes, but you should understand that what your rights ends another person's right begins. And I, I should also add that only recently some uh, social media activist in Kaduna was jailed for seven years. I can't remember the name specifically now. Was jailed for seven years for a defamatory comment he made against a seven public officer. Wow. Not do so you, long ago. Do you think we should see more of, you know, beyond the, the jailing of the social media activists, do you think that celebrities should actually start to make claims, you know, defamation claims because um, people look at them as celebrities and think, oh, if you, if you decide to clap back or if you decide to speak about it, you're being petty, you're bigger than these, you are, you're above this. Do you think that celebrities should now start making it a legal point of view? Yeah, it is so that, to put, so that people will be in check. Now, um, if uh, people don't take advantage of the law, uh, it will be of no use. Now, uh, the reason why we have these every day on our social media pages, people have not been punished for it. It's not enough to have laws. Uh, people should, um, we, 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 we have a culture of impunity. People do things and get away with it. That's why we keep having repeated occurrences of such, such events. It's important that people take responsibility for their actions. They are punished for their wrongdoings and that will put a check. Indeed, Sorry. we need to see people set, you know, we need to see a standard set or maybe a judicial precedent, if I may say, in that regard. By the time, it won't, it might, I won't call it, maybe a social precedent. By the time they think this famous person or this loud-mouthed person has well, gone to jail yeah. because they ran their mouth in ways they shouldn't have. Maybe everybody will now start to... Well, no, we have some, uh, some precedents. I won't mention the name. Some time ago, some popular female social media activist spent some good time in the Port Harcourt prisons on account of something he said about a Port Harcourt based pre preacher. So oh, it's all wow. over the news. Oh, wow. I, I think, I, think I, I, I may be able to figure out who exactly you're talking about. But then again, please, would appeal to you, be careful what you say about people, most especially if you cannot prove that what you're saying is true. Of course, the defense of defamation is true. But if you cannot prove that what you're saying is true, then you might be getting yourself in a lot of trouble. And if you don't know what to say, there's something what? called swiping up you know you can just swipe and move without having to comment in fact you know what i do these days if i see that somebody commented rubbish on your page i don't know the person they don't know me i'm not following them they're not following me i block them ahead of time because i don't need that negative protecting energy. your future peace exactly <laughs> protecting my peace in the future because i don't need somebody bringing their negative energy in my space in the nearest future important. so please as much as possible it's easy to stay behind the keyboard and be a keyboard warrior and say things that you maybe not be able to say most likely will not be able to say to the face of the person to whom you're making that comment it's easier to stay behind but we don't know how many people have hurt themselves by the hateful and the hurtful things that we say before being celebrities, these people are first human beings and everything gets to them. They are flesh and blood as well. As well. So please, let's be kinder and thoughtful to ourselves, to our fellow Nigerians, to our fellow human beings and to our celebrities as well. But that's all we have for you on Banter. Thank you for joining us. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.